Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Dibble Games here. Uh, figured I'd do some recording of some other different game. Uh, I do a lot of videos of Smite and I kind of mentioned a long time ago that I was going to start recording something different on the weekends. Like maybe during the weekdays, uh, five, five days of Smite and then two days of uh, whatever on the weekend. So uh, right now we're playing some Warframe, which is actually... I'm surprisingly enjoying it for a free-to-play game, which, I don't know, I mean, I, I enjoyed Marvel Heroes and that was free-to-play, but this one, uh, this one's actually way more action-packed and is a third-person shooter, which is something I can really get behind, like, I love third-person shooters. It's actually probably my, my favorite genre, so, um, yeah, this game's really fun to play. The only negatives to this game is I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I'm just going, you know, whatever they tell me, go do something, I'm like, okay, I'll go do that. I have no idea what any of these alloy plates polymer bundles, circuits, whatever this stuff is. I have no idea what it is. I don't know how I get it. I don't even know what to do with it if I did get it. So, I mean, I don't even know how to view my equipment. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. The only thing I kind of have an idea about is this thing called mods in this game. And mods kind of, like, give your character, um... Kind of, like, little bonuses to... To, uh, your, your abilities or your weapons or whatever. It's like 5% reload speed, 5% damage, that sort of thing. Those things are pretty self-explanatory, but everything else I'm completely clueless about. Like, I don't really know what I should be doing right now. But these things seem like kind of a low level. I think I'm like level 8 or something. But, uh, let's go ahead and jump into some of this gameplay. Because the gameplay is very good in my opinion. Um, yeah, I've actually been pretty surprised by how fun this game is to play. Um, okay, I don't know where I should be going. I know that this place called The Void just opened up, but... This thing looked like it may have had a mission that was around my area level. Uh, no, that's entirely not true. So, let's go look at the void. Apparently, this is where they want me to go. Ancient orc and places are hidden here. Okay, they're hidden. So, how I do? Oh, it's because I have another one selected. Ah, okay. Um, Tower 1 Survival. I'm, I feel like I'm very super weak, so doing a survival probably would not be a good idea for me, but actually it might be fun to watch, so let's just go ahead and do it just for, uh, for laughs. I don't, you know, actually though, I have a key, and I think maybe that unlocks these. I don't know, let's just find out, let's just do it. This is going to be brutal, because I am severely underpowered, but we can show off some good gameplay, like survival sounds like fun. I'm not going to be running around a whole lot, just kind of like fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. So there's a mod up in the top left corner. Oh. I went away really quickly. But you're gonna see why this game is fun. A lone tenor okay. is raiding this ship Fine for one supplies. More. I can do that. You are here to distract the enemy. Hi -ya. Trigger the alarm. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention this game is about um about ninja robots. Like what else is there to say? Ninja robots are awesome. And they're very quick. Like there's a lot of cool stuff, like there's some uh some parkour type things going on here um I, I can't say well actually one of my biggest complaints is kind of how the movement is kind of weird it's kind of floaty but I mean it's it's serviceable enough to get the job done all right let's go ahead and start this and try not to die oh um click that there we go they have just shut down all systems so what am I supposed to do life support capsules your way thank you let me know when they're here. Is that what's floating in the air? Life support capsule to the area. Okay. Activating it will buy you more time. Okay. How so? Hello. So yeah. So there's gunplay and there's also uh, for my character I have a sword, uh, which is pretty nice. It's done really well. There's a whole slew of weapons to use, but I don't know how to get them. Like I haven't found any on the ground or anything like that. So. Let's go ahead and chase this guy down. Oh god. Show you the sword. Oh. Okay, I need to get out of here. God, there's so many guys. I need to find somewhere to take cover. Okay. Open the sword. Also, each Warframe, which is what I'm using, kind of like this mech suit, they each have their own special abilities. So my guy, like, right here, I shoot lightning at him, which is great. Bounces across all of them, stuns them for a second. Uh, pretty good stuff. I'm surprised I'm doing this well, actually. Get ready for a capsule. I didn't get the other one. Sorry. I'm about to use some cheese tactics here, because I, if I go out there, I'm dead. And there's a butler. Someone's in here with me. Oh my god. Okay, it's time to go. Get out. 
Get out. Where's this capsule and what does it do? I've delivered another life support capsule. So I hear, but I don't know where it's at, girl. I'm following that yellow thing marker on the screen. I'm, I'm assuming that's where these capsules are, but is this one? Okay. What's this do? Life support activated. Okay. I didn't do anything, honestly. It just gave me a health orb, which I wasn't really low on health to begin with. I really need those blue orbs. Blue orbs refresh your mana so I can use my abilities, like my shock ability, which is really good. If you help right now, I can shock almost all those guys. Ow. Oh, hello. Die. There's one. Die. This game would be fun if you had a bunch of people, a bunch of players. Oh, health orb. My shields recharge. Kind of like a uh, shield recharge system, kind of like in Halo. You don't take damage for a certain amount of time, it re recharges. I guess a lot of games have that mechanic, actually. Oh my god, I'm out of bullets. Oh, I'm so dead. That thing keeps recharging his shields. I need, I need some ammo. Do I not have ammo in this? You. Don't you do it. Shoot. It's recharging all their shields, so I need to get rid of that thing as fast as I possibly can. Die. I'm running out of time. I need ammo. This gun is kind of weak. Actually, it's not bad. Just the attack speed isn't as great as my other item. Come back here! They keep going to that shield recharger. I need to get rid of that guy. Die. Oh, something's hitting me really hard. Am I running out of time? Is that what's going on? Ah. Yeah. Oh, that didn't go so well. Um, that's the survival though. I don't really know what that means. Like, apparently I was supposed to be hitting these things to... up the time I spent alive in there? I don't know. That doesn't sound like survival. That sounds like, I don't know, picking up drops or something. I have no idea. Well, let's do another one. Let's do a real mission, just because that was just me kind of fooling around. I'll show you what the mission the mission system is like in this game. Um, it kind of appears that right now I don't really have any, which seems kind of weird. Um, I guess I could do this one. So at the very top where it says mission, um, well, the top in that little white section, uh, it tells you what kind of mission it is. This one is to go and exterminate. I did one that was called, like, defend. We had to defend a bomb. Like, that one was really fun. Uh, they actually had one called spy. We had to be kind of sneak around and kind of find your way into like these rooms that are really well defended and try not to alert the guards. That was actually pretty cool. Like I'm, I'm like really impressed by the amount of depth in this game. But uh, maybe maybe it'll get old, I mean as far as the gameplay, but it seems pretty good. I mean the only bad thing is I don't have any new weapons, but uh, let's go ahead and do this this uh, this area real quick. See, exterminate should be pretty fun. I think this is like one, maybe a group of people you have to kill. I don't think it's an assassination. I think they have one called assassination where you have to actually kill a specific person. Exterminate, I think, is you just clear out the entire ship or planet or wherever you are. Okay. Eliminate all corpus threats. Yeah, I just kill everyone in here. Let's see if I can stab this guy in the back. Oh, sort of. Hello. I actually don't like these guys. Their armor is kind of a huge pain. Crap, that would be an alarm. That means they know where I am, so that's not good. Where are you going, sir? He's trying to uh, set the alarms. Ow. If I jump, I can do kind of a really strong uh, attack there. Like, there's some different, different combos. I'm just not really good with the... Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention that. Pretty much everything in this game levels up, from your weapons to your Warframe. Um, I mean, pretty much anything you can use in this game is level, is level upable. Is that a word? But yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, these guys again. Gotta take them out pretty quick, it seems like. They spotted you. Get ready for a yes, fight. they did. I'm ready for a fight, girl. Running a little low on ammo, I do believe. Actually, I don't even know where the ammo is. If I can see it on the screen somewhere. Like, again, I don't really know a whole lot about this game. I just like killing things, so. I can hit the switch. Oh, shoot. This will turn the alarms off. There we go. Which, I don't know, in an extermination, I don't know how useful that is. You kind of want to be found, so you can kill everything. Something up here. 
Uh, there's a lot of different creature types, though, in this game, which makes it kind of, you know, mixes it up a good bit. I like it. And this game, actually, I didn't mention this game, is actually a very heavy loot-driven game, kind of like uh, Diablo. Uh, granted, I haven't really found a whole lot. I just keep finding supplies and mods, which I guess mods are pretty cool. I haven't found any, like, super rare ones that make my character really strong. But what I'm really, really, really looking forward to is, uh, some freaking, some different weapons. Like, I want to pick up something cool. Like, because they do have all kinds of weapons. Like, maybe I'll show you that after this. Go to the foundry. They have, uh, the list of all the weapons in the game, I do believe. But this game is free to play, so maybe it has some kind of really heavy free to play model where you can't really find things. You have to, like, spend money to, to or you have to find an absurd amount in order to, oh. Okay, that's not good. Uh, yeah. What do I do with that? Okay. So yeah, using my sword levels up my sword, using my gun levels up my guns. Obviously, um, it's pretty cool though. You can do kind of really cool, uh, like jumping stuff, but in practicality it's actually really hard. Like trying to jump and shoot at the same time is ridiculously hard. <laughs> Hello. I see there's someone down here on the map. Where is it? Where? Oh, there he is. Oh, just one of these little spaceship things. Where'd he go? Where'd you go? Wow. Okay. It's annoying. I think I killed it though. I think. You over here? I see a red dot over here. It keeps moving though. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Got some ammo. These uh, little green lockers I can actually open up. Sometimes it has money, which again, I don't really know how to spend it. Uh, sometimes it has some mana, which is those blue orbs. I don't see anything else here. I can go in here. Some more lockers. I've never really actually gotten any items from lockers. I usually get it from like killing. Um, when I say items, I actually mean like mods. I usually get them from killing like creatures. Okay, I think I'm supposed to be going up here. All right, Let's see if we can do a really cool, stylish slide attack and actually hit something. Uh oh. Oh, hello. That's kind of cool. Like I said, the game has a lot going for it, actually. It's a lot of fun to play. Like, everything feels really tight for, like, an online or MMO like this. Which, it is an MMO, but it feels more like a... Kind of like instance version, kind of like Diablo. Where you get a bunch of people, and then you go into these little instances and play just with, you, with each other. Bypass complete. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, we're gonna slide in and shoot this guy in the face. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a lot more guys. I want a different melee weapon. Like, I like it, but I want, I want something different. The sword is kind of like really short range. Apparently there's some other like really huge ones, like a bow staff, that sort of thing. Which sounds really cool to me. <clears throat> when you first start off, they give you access to like three different, three different items, or three different types of, three different types of melee weapons, primary weapons like my machine gun, and um, secondary weapons like my pistol. Okay, am I supposed to be going this way? The, uh, the other primary they had was one was, like, was kind of like a sniper rifle, but it was like a bow and arrow that you like charge up and shoot and does insane damage. Uh, the other one I think was like a shotgun, which is pretty cool. I like shotguns, but I feel like in this game, if you're going to be in melee range, you might as well use the sword. Don't you set that alarm off. Oh, alright. Let's shoot these guys. They're all grouped up, man. I don't see why not. I should show off my other abilities, but I don't really know what they do. One of them is like a shield. Oh. Like, I dropped this right now, they can't hit me, but I think I can still shoot them. In fact, I think it does more damage. Oh, I blew that guy's head off. Hey, that's a that's a mod. Sweet. Uh, but yeah, so that one provides cover, and I think if you shoot through it, it does more damage. Don't don't quote me on that, but I think that's the case. Uh, my other ability is kind of like, oh, a move speed boost, which, I don't know. I feel like I move fast enough as is. Ow. Alright, this thing's kind of wrecking me. I feel like we're almost done with this mission as well. Personally, I actually like the, the defend missions a lot. A lot more than I do kind of like these... These traver... Oh my god. These traversal ones. Actually, it's up a wall. I don't have enough mana. 
Oh, someone's shooting the crap out of me. You've been seen. Ready your weapon. You think? Oh, no, I need my shields. These guys are really good about flanking too. Like the AI is surprisingly well in this game. I mean, there's certain areas where they kind of they kind of fumble, but overall the AI is pretty decent. Like they'll try to flank you, um, get behind cover, that sort of thing. So that's pretty decent in my opinion. Considering most MMOs, like there's barely any any uh, AI. But this game is actually uh, done pretty well for itself. I think it, most of the time it sits around in the top ten on Steam for amount of players on at any given time. So, there's a lot of people that play this game. Uh, but, I don't think much more happens outside of what I'm doing right here. Like, you're just going in and clearing out, like, kind of mission-based stuff. But I'm okay with it, as long as the gameplay is fine, which it is. Like, I'm, I'm quite alright with this. Just a fun little time waster. I bet you could spend a lot of time in this game, too. Because it's MMO, so... Sweet, I got another mod. So oh, that guy's being healed by that stupid flying thing. Oh yeah, that duck attack. I just hit him in the head for zero. Seems highly unlikely. Oh, oh, crap. oh I didn't mean to shock that. Ow, ow, ow. Should level up my pistol at some point. This seems too weak. Oh. Ah, uh, switch guns. Kind of seems like if you headshot, you get more items, but could be wrong. Hello, sir. I need to look up the combos. There's actually like combos for your basic attack, oh, for your sword attack, but I just don't know what they are. The only one I know is the the jump slam attack, which uh, works out pretty well, at, like knocking characters down. So like, there's a big group around you, you can do that. Something in here. Oh, it's just the alarm. Hack security. Alright, this one's pretty simple. They give you quite a bit of time to do that too, that's pretty easy. Alarm successfully hacked. And I the think the last is area is right here. Oh shoot. Oh. So yeah, this game's pretty good. For a free-to-play game, I, I think it's it's a quality game. A lot of these uh, free to plays are actually very, very, very high quality because they, they make a ton of money actually. Probably more than the games that don't, that aren't free to play, which is kind of crazy. Sometimes they though, they are very grindy, which kind of turns me off in the long run. Like at first I'm really super into it, but then once I find out how much I have to grind to get my next upgrade, I just give up on it. But hopefully this game will be the exception. I kind of highly doubt it, but... I mean, I'm having fun for now, and it's free to play. Like, I haven't spent a dollar on this yet, so... It's a win in my book. That guy just set up the alarm, didn't he? Come here. Where'd you go? Where? Yep, he did. He set up the alarm right there. Yep, I have. Let's go ahead and turn it off real quick. Let's turn this off. There we go. Kind of surprised I didn't get shot while I was doing that. Alarms have been reset. Excuse me, sir. Off with your head. Where's all the baddies? I set off the alarm. They should be coming. Oh well. So yeah, what do you guys think of this game? You think I should probably play more of it? Maybe on the weekends we'll do some Warframe. Give an update of where I am. See if I figured out how to play this freaking game yet. Like, I'm reading some stuff online, but it's still all very, like... Everyone's like, just don't spend your money, level up your, your weapons, and once you figure out what you want to do, you'll have that money saved up to spend it. Like, I don't want to waste my money and buy something bad that I'm not going to use at all later. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wait until I know, like, I get a feel for what I'm supposed to be doing in this game. Where the heck am I supposed to go? What's up? Am I missing something here? Control console... This looks like a... This looks like a um, an elevator, but I don't see a way to bring it down. Let's see, is this do something? I don't see. Um, am I crazy? Like, what am I missing here? Am I supposed to get up high? I don't think so. Okay, I'm really confused right now. 
Is this mission bugged? Oh, there we go. Wow. I'm smart. Am I calling it? Let's see if I can do some roll running here. Oh, we wait. I mean, it's pretty cool, but it's super hard to control. Maybe if I played it a lot, but I feel like it's really difficult to get really good at at least. There's one section in that spy that spy mission type I was talking about where they wanted you to get into like this into this room that was really super hard to navigate. Like you had to run across a bunch of walls and jump and do a backflip and all this crap, and I just couldn't figure it out. Eventually I got spotted and lost that mission, obviously, but. Alright, we're gonna do some stealth here. Okay, buddy. Okay. Uh, there's a guy there. He's looking at something very tentatively, but it's not me. See ya, sir. So yeah, this game lets you play it in multiple different ways. In fact, they have a Warframe that gives you invisibility called Loki. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, but yeah. I mean, there's actually a lot of Warframes. I don't know how many there are, but I, I feel like there's like 20. And they all have their own special set of abilities here. Oh, crap. No witnesses. I like it. Kill all. Oh, shoot. Two of these flyers? Alright, let's pull this up. Oh, he set the alarm off. Crap. They spotted you. Get ready for a fight. Yep. Bye. Let's get out of here. I thought I set up the alarm. All targets eliminated, but I set up the alarm, that's funny. Um Alarms have been reset. Okay. I guess that's it. I guess I just go to the extraction point. And that's how most of your missions go. You come in, do an objective, and then go to the extraction point. It's very basic, but I, I, again, I, I, the combat is enough that it's keeping me interested. And leveling up always keeps me interested in games like this. Even if I don't know what I'm doing, which I'd really like to because that would definitely help. Like, I don't know. Because it's kind of frustrating. Like, these games you kind of want to min-max, but since I have no idea what I'm doing, I don't know how to min-max, obviously. Can I not kill that? Really? Ow. <laughs> that was rude. And go in here and we'll we'll jump out. Another job well executed. Okay, so I got a few different uh, mods here. Five percent damage to grenadiers, which is a, a type of character or type of enemy. Five percent maximum ammo and fifteen percent reach. That's kinda cool. On the melee, actually that might be useful for my sword. But let me show you the different items real quick and then we'll sign off here. Right now, my, my machine gun's level 12, pistol level 6, sword level 9, and my actual Warframe's level 11. Interesting. I don't know when I get my final ability, but I'm kind of looking forward to that. Oh, let's see. Where's the foundry? Is it foundry or is it up here? I think it's this one. Codex. Yeah, let's look at the, the different types of weapons. Look at all these suckers. And there, I think there's varying, um, maybe not, there's varying, like, types in, within the different categories. I could be wrong there. Like, there could be, like, different types of fangs, or maybe it's just fang and fang prime. I don't know. I mean, I don't know much about this game, so I'm not really sure. But there's a ton of weapons, as you can see here. The Kronos, Darker Prime, Daggers, Ceramic Daggers, all these machine guns, these snipers. I don't know, all this crap, man. A lot of cool stuff. I just want to get them. I don't know how to get them. Like, everything is just locked for me. Right now I have these first three things and that's it. Like I want to try out other guns, but I don't know how to do it. Apparently, you know, I have a lot of money and I had this thing called Platinum, which you can only use, or you only get by spending real money. But apparently they give you 50 off the start, but I don't know what to spend that on. So we're just kind of waiting. We're just waiting, killing things, having fun until we have enough money to buy, buy other stuff. So, um, I don't know, actually, you know what I might do maybe over the weekend or so. I may actually start streaming this, maybe on Twitch TV, like maybe not put it on YouTube, or maybe only put it up on YouTube on the weekends, and then maybe stream, and then like people can come join me if they want. Uh, if you play Warframe, and maybe you can show me how to play this game, because I have no idea. I like what I see so far, I just don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm not getting the full enjoyment out of it, even though I am enjoying it, as is right now. They have companions, too. Interesting, like I see, I want to I wanna get this stuff, I don't know how. So let me know, because <laughs> I, I really want to. Whoa. I thought you'd want to know. So yeah, uh, that's Warframe for you, at least as far as I know. Uh, maybe we'll do some more videos, guys. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, until next time, have a good one.